19. Oh, what? Police what? Wait, they're just gonna leave it there? How is it possible? <laughs> Oh my god! He built something so big in his grandma's garden shed and then eventually, like, people detected it and anyway, he eventually died as a result of it. Oh, oh, ugly faces oh, no. it can be so, today we're gonna check out a video called Things You Can't Do in America. Don't, Don't kill, kill me, me, I can't, can't do, do something, I'm American, American now. I have freedom, freedom. I, can I can do whatever, do whatever, do whatever I want. I want. As you can see, Chewie is here today. He would like you all to take your head, bash it against the keyboard in lieu of a comment in the comment section. See what letters come out. And that will be what Chewie is telepathically trying to say to you. Also, hit the like button. And also while you're there, just like move the mouse across a little bit and subscribe. Wouldn't that be good? Because then they get all our videos completely free. Free of charge. Oh, wow. I'm thinking this is going to be some laws. Uh, we've looked at laws in the United States before. It's always a fun time. There are just mad laws that exist around the world. So let's check it out. This was recommended by a viewer. Yes, it was. Every country has one or two weird laws that seem to make absolutely no sense. But the good old U.S. of A. has way more than its fair share. This is, in part, due to the U.S.'s federal system, which gives local governments more power to dictate their own yes. legislation. The sad fact is that many archaic laws exist because of the personal views and experiences of lawyers and politicians. Oh, and lawyers. Often, they were simply written to control the general public back oh. when they relied heavily on laws to dictate their behavior. Some of these rules concern public safety and decency and probably made a lot of sense when they were written. But others, well, I can't imagine that they ever made sense. So here are 20 bizarre things you can't 20. do in America. Check out the link to this video. It is in the description box below. And I believe it's on a channel called Be Amazed. Cute. Number 20, underwater whistling in Vermont. Vermont has a number of bonkers laws, but the silliest one by far is that it's illegal to whistle underwater. The reason for this rule is to protect marine life. As whistling near marine mammals, such as dolphins or whales, can interfere with their echolocation, leaving them stranded, which makes it extra bizarre since Vermont is a landlocked state. Can you whistle underwater? This law is a mystery. Whistling needs air both inside and outside of your mouth, so common yeah. sense would tell you that it's impossible to do it anyway. Well, actually, it's entirely possible. Number oh, 19. What? Police what? Wait, they're just gonna leave it there? How is it possible? <laughs> Oh my god! Dogs in Ohio. In Pauling, Ohio, police have a Don't strange do that. and special power that cops in other parts of the U.S. aren't lucky enough to have. They are allowed to bite a dog Don't if they think it will calm the dog dogs. down. It's unclear where this law originates from. <laughs> taking advantage of this rule. And I mean, why would they? I can't see how biting a dog would do anything but further enrage it. Number 18 bear wrestling in Alabama. Alabama. In May 1996, the Alabama Senate voted 23 to 0 to make it illegal to conduct bear wrestling matches for profit. It also became a class B felony to surgically alter a bear or to train it to wrestle. This might sound like a stupid law, but bear wrestling used to be a surprisingly popular pastime. It was, wasn't it? Which is why it was introduced. <laughs> nice pants. On a bear at the 1972 Iowa State. It just Fair. seems cruel, in doesn't 1987, it? In Ginger the Bear took on several Mississippi residents. Number 17. No nukes in California. According to Section 9.60.030 of Chico's Municipal Code, it's illegal to build or test nuclear bombs in the city. The well, that's probably a good thing. That he would survive is unacceptable and states that no person shall produce, test, maintain, or store within the city a nuclear weapon, component of a nuclear weapon, nuclear weapon delivery system, or component of a nuclear weapon delivery system. I mean, I think we've all heard that story about there was a kid who decided he wanted to collect, what was it, you know, the dials that was on, uh, I did a video on it on my second channel, radium. And radium was in um, all the little clocks and he collected like radium and then he was collecting like all just different things like in watches and everything. And he built something so big in his grandma's garden shed and then eventually like people detected it. And anyway, he eventually 
died as a result of it, like it, when he was older, but you know. There's no mention of what would happen if you exploded a nuke or what the punishment would be, but $500 is the limit for any city infraction. A $500 fine would be the least of everyone's worries if someone had. Yeah, true. And besides, who's going to collect the fine if we're all fried? Number 16, mustache kissing in Iowa. What? <laughs> what? If you have a mustache, you're not allowed to kiss a woman in public in Iowa. According what? to Com, it's also illegal for a kiss to last longer than five minutes in Iowa. Iowa! So it might not be the best pick for honeymooners. There are some doubts over the existence of this law, but I, for one, won't be risking a smooch in Iowa anytime soon. Number 15. Don't poach Sasquatch in Washington State. Whether or not Sasquatch even exists is a debate. We got this one. We heard this one. Over 200 years. But Washington State isn't taking any chances. Just in case the mythical beast does exist, they've introduced a law which prohibits... You ain't allowed to shoot it. In 1991, Whatcom County declared its land to be an official Sasquatch protection and refuge area. The reasoning is that if Sasquatch does exist, it's an endangered species that needs protecting. And it's because of this twisted logic that Skamania County has listed Bigfoot poaching as a felony since 1969. Number 14. No burping in church in Nebraska. That's just decent. Bakers take the sanctity of church very seriously, and unruly children will not be tolerated. So much so, in fact, that if one is called burping, their parents could easily be caught. Maybe not babies. The law also prohibits sneezing, which seems a little unfair as it's a can't help if you sneeze function. It's also illegal to hunt whales in Nebraska, which might seem like a sensible rule until you consider that it's a landlocked state that doesn't even have a single whale in captivity. You gotta think though that no burping in church probably stemmed from like some game that kids were playing where like they'd burp and then like somebody else would burp louder and somebody else would burp louder. I do find in church if somebody coughs, that leads to like a whole bunch of people coughing. Like, I don't know, like people just like to be heard or something. Number 13. No ugly faces at dogs in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I'm a huge fan of dog. I support this. Oklahoma lawmakers might just take the crown for being number one canine fans after they introduced a silly rule to protect dogs' feelings. People who oh, make ugly faces Oklahoma. at dogs can be fined, jailed, or both. The rule doesn't say what happens if you simply have an ugly face and get caught looking <laughs> at a dog. Harsh. Like I just gotta laugh at that poor little guy who's like obviously given his consent to use that video in random stock videos and they've like put him in it as like the ugly guy. The poor guy. What happens if I do an ugly face at you? Politician's dog was personally offended by an ugly face. It's oh God. That poor guy. Laughable rule of reality. Number 12. No fishing on a camel in Idaho. Another animal protection law now, and this one's taking care of not one, but all species at once. In Boise, Idaho, it is prohibited to fish while you're on any animal's back, and that includes the camels. Okay. You ruined your weekend plans, but makes... laws are laws. The 1917 ruling actually made it illegal to fish from the back of any animal. And a 1920 fish and game rule later stated that it is unlawful to fish for trout from the back of any animal. Is that in case they get hooked? Any stream on back of animal while fishing for trout. Consider yourself too slippy. Fans, number 11, squeaky clean in Arizona. Remember your parents telling you that they'd wash your mouth out with soap and water if they caught you swearing? Well, maybe that's where Mojave County in Arizona got the idea for their bizarre soap rule. If you're found stealing soap there, you must wash yourself until the bar of soap has been completely... Shut up. That's my kind of rule. ...doing anyway if you picked up the soap in prison. Number 10. New York ice cream rules. Watch yourself on a Sunday in New York. This state has a law stating that you may not walk around with an ice cream. I might have broken that. Why anybody? Like cone? Why would there be a cone? It is beyond me, but it must have been a big enough issue to write legislation to combat the issue. According to some sources, it might have been the cone law that led to the creation of the ice cream sundae. What do you? Ooh. Hi. No crossing into Minnesota wearing poultry. If you were considering wearing a chicken or a duck as a headdress while crossing into Minnesota, think again. I will. According to dumblaws.com, it's completely illegal and could land you in deep trouble. The validity of this regulation is debated, but animal rights laws surely prohibit the use of live animals for fashion accessories. Don't 
That's fair. Better not do it just to be on the safe side. Number eight, sunshine is guaranteed in California. Florida may be known as the sunshine state, but it's actually California who deserves that title. A local San Francisco law states that sunshine is guaranteed. Oh, oh. According to lawinfo.com, it's unclear whether this was taken from a foundational document, another similar statute, planning laws, or whether it exists at all. But one thing's for sure, landowners are entitled to maintain their access to air, water, and light. Nice. Number seven, the death penalty for New York jumpers. Um. Sadly, the main reason a person would jump off a building is to end their life. But New York lawmakers seem to have overlooked that fact. It's said that the punishment for jumping off a building in this state is death. Whoa. But that seems like overkill to me. This law seems to be related to the illegality of suicide, as ending your own life was illegal in 30 states as late as the 1980s. Number I think we added in Ireland up to the 90s. Moose in Alaska. In Alaska, you can look at a moose. Just not if you're in a plane. The law actually states that you can't fly in a plane the same day that you hunt. This is to stop you scouting for an animal before landing the plane to find. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. A bit of sense. Shame Alaska ruined it for themselves by creating another bonkers law. According to legislation, you cannot bring your pet flamingo into a barbershop. It's actually all animals that are banned from barbershops, and they're also not allowed in dogs. Practice of hairdressing or beauty <gasps> culture. I love bringing Chewy along with me to the salon. He loves the salon. He loves my hairdresser. He loves my nail technician. He loves going to the salon. That's sad. He's at the salon. I'm at the salon. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Wow. Alaska is a really weird place. Who would have thought it? Number five. Harsh. It's no secret that the southern states take their fried chicken very seriously. And one visitor fell foul of this when she was arrested on her 91st birthday for breaking a poultry law. Jenny Dietrich was busted eating fried chicken with a fork. And according to an ordinance passed in Gainesville, Georgia in 1961, it's a crime against the city to eat fried chicken, a culinary delicacy sacred to this municipality, this county, this state, this Southland, and this republic with anything other than your fingers. Mm. The ordinance was originally introduced as a publicity stunt to promote Gainesville as the poultry capital of the world, but some cops are clearly upholding the ruling. Number four, don't let the chicken cross the road in Georgia. Why did the chicken cross the road? Well, in Georgia, it may have been to make a political statement because it's illegal for them to do so. It may have been to make a political statement because it's illegal for them to do so. No, seriously. The town of Quitman has a local ordinance that makes it illegal to allow chickens to cross an open road. This is surely for the safety of drivers using the roads, but I'm not entirely sure how the law is enforced. Number three, greasy crimes in North Carolina. As of 2013, it became a felony to steal more than $1,000 worth of grease. Who's stealing that much grease? What? Or any grease at all, for that matter. The grease law was part of 16 bills that were passed at the same time, and the others make much more sense, from legal protection for out- That's the animation. Background checks for people working in daycares. But what's with the grease bill? Yeah, what is it? Apparently, law enforcement officers weren't taking the crime seriously. What was once a worthless commodity is now apparently worth stealing, so something had to be done. You learn something new every day, huh? Number two, no biting in Rhode Island. Biting off another person's leg in Rhode Island isn't allowed. It uh, that should be a given, though. Yeah. Well, apparently lawmakers felt the need to write it into their legislation. According to one section of the state's legal code, there's a penalty for any person who shall voluntarily, maliciously, or of purpose put out an eye, slit the nose, ear, or lip, or well, cough, bite off, or disable any limb or I mean, of another. Fair. Punishment is between one and 20 years in prison, so no matter how tempted you get, it's best that you don't gnaw on anyone's limbs, no matter how irritating you may find them. Number one, no sleeping in an Illinois cheese factory. We've all found ourselves specific. too much camembert, but be careful where you catch those post cheese Z's. As in Illinois, it's against the law to sleep in a cheese factory. According to the Sanitary Food Preparation Act, it's unlawful to sleep in not only a cheese shop, but also a creamery, bakery. It's dangerous, I suppose. Food is prepared. Potentially. I can only imagine the predicament faced also, by those guys in charge of sampling the produce at the factory. 
Carbon dioxide? <laughs> Though, think of the nightmares they'd have after all that cheese. That required a warning. Those were super interesting. One or two I definitely heard before, but they are all equally mad. I am going to go and eat some fried chicken. Thank you so much, guys. That's it for today. See you on the other side. Bye. Look who's joining us today. Look who's joining us today. No, seriously. Join large scale.